Welcome back to this short series on how I use Notion to organize my life. My name is Janos and in this video I want to show you how I added on top of the power methodology that I use in Notion to implement additional things and features um, that I needed for my life and will especially cover my goal setting process in this video. So yeah, let's jump right into Notion. So now in Notion, uh, I'll quickly go to my goals page. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, I divide my goals into three different types of goals. So I have yearly goals, I have monthly goals, and then I have weekly goals. And uh, all of these goals together form my process of uh, keeping track of my, my uh, things that I want to achieve, my projects, uh, and so on. And what I then do in the day-to-day -day life, which I haven't uh, implemented in Notion yet, is the uh, daily to-dos. And these are uh, managed in Todoist, which is a different software that is much more suited for these daily tasks, which is something that Notion um, isn't too good, great at at the moment because they don't have the API access yet. So you can't have any, like any syncing with, for example, Google Calendar and so on. Now let's first of all scroll down to my yearly goals. And these are the goals that I set up once a year. So these are pretty, uh, yeah, pretty obvious as they are my yearly goals. Uh, and all of these are also divided into the different categories that I've set for myself uh, that I also showed in the last videos. So I've generally speaking divided my whole life into these four categories. And this means that I I can now have the same view for each of my uh, use cases. So in my goal section, in my project section and so on. And it's always the same. And um, I just, I'm just able to keep track of it way better because it's a unified system. How I set this up is using the inline database feature in Notion. So I've got three inline databases right here because otherwise you would have to have one page for each database but using inline databases, you can have multiple databases on one page. Next up, we have the monthly goals, which are pretty much the same. Um, I set them once a month. So I have a reminder in my calendar to set up my goals on the last day of the previous month. And I just add them in right here as well. Then the same goes for the weekly goals. These are added in and changed up uh, each week. So on each Sunday, I sit down and I add in the new goals for the coming week. Now here you can see the cross connections. So if I click on one of these, one of these tasks right here, I see that I can connect this to a project. And so in my projects view, I can actually see the goals that are related to each of the projects. Again, creating this interconnectivity between the different parts of my Notion setup. That's it for this short goal setting video. In the next videos, I'll cover more of the other aspects of this methodology that I'm using and also of my workspace. Uh, for example, we'll look into my notes database and also into my resources, which are a massive, uh, massive amount of different resources that I want to show you. So uh, stay tuned for that. Check out my Notion 101 class on uh, Skillshare and Udemy if you want more in-depth knowledge about uh, Notion. And also feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video, bye.